Welcome to GCSE Fine Art. Taking this slide carefully because at the end of the presentation there will be a memory test about the contents of this slide. In this presentation we will learn how GCSE art works, how to be a successful GCSE artist, and we'll come to understand how our work will be different at GCSE level. One of the first things to say is that topics are much more in-depth, bigger, deeper and wider at GCSE than they are at Key Stage 3. And taking the images on this slide as an example, if we were studying natural forms at Key Stage 3, we might study flowering plants or fruits and vegetables or animals. And we might look at certain kinds of artwork that have been made using natural forms. But at GCSE, you have to combine many of these kinds of inspiration all at once. GCSE art is bigger, wider and deeper than Key Stage 3 art. It's much more than practical work like painting and drawing and it involves a lot of original creative thinking. It's bigger than a one-year Key Stage 3 art course because the course lasts for two years. At Christleton, we do a course called Fine Art, and Fine Art is much wider and more flexible than other art courses, like graphics or textiles. In all GCSE art courses, you get marks for four different kinds of work that you present in a set called a portfolio. Your research and experimentation within your topics will be deeper than it would be at Key Stage 3. One thing that many students really like about GCSE art is that there is no written exam and no revision. The four things that you get marks for in GCSE art are researching, experimenting, making artwork and original ideas. You show your research and ideas on big pages called design sheets and you make final pieces as well and you'll be used to those from Key Stage 3. Final pieces may be paintings, drawings, digital artworks, 3D pieces or pieces of work that are a mixture. Early on in the course your teacher will decide on the topics that everybody is going to study but towards the end of the course the exam board will give you a list of topics and you can make your own choice from the list. In normal times one of the things that many students enjoy is the opportunity to go on a residential art weekend. Take a look at these design sheets, these big pages where students present their work and try to spot research, experimentation, the development of some artwork and ways that students have been original or shown original ideas. Remember that these are the four things you get marks for in GCSE art. As well as design sheets like this, remember that you will make final pieces. How well you can do in GCSE art depends on a number of things. It depends on the experiences and skills you bring. 
importantly, it depends on your learning habits and your organisation. And it also depends on how you see yourself as an artist. Art is good for lots of careers, including some that you may not have thought of or heard of. And these might be in graphic design, fashion and textiles, three-dimensional design, architecture, fine art, and film and photography. There are also a range of other jobs for which art is helpful. At the start of this presentation, you were told that there would be a memory test and hopefully you'll be able to remember what goes in the three pink boxes on this final slide. Of course, those are the words bigger, wider and deeper. And you may well know now that GCSE art is bigger, wider and deeper than Key Stage 3 art. You will now know how GCSE art works, how to be a successful GCSE artist, and exactly how our work will be different at GCSE level. Good luck in your option choices, and if you're considering GCSE Fine Art, welcome.